is the first part of the dive. I'm getting ready to go down. Just got off the jetties here in Newport, and uh, I see a crab pot here in a second. Brand new crab pot. I haven't quite figured out why people want to crab off the jetties there in Newport, because I've never seen any crab down there. Maybe it's just me, but I normally don't see them. Uh, Yeah, there it is right there. Nice looking crab pot. It was so shallow I should have just brought it back up. No string attached to it so somebody lost it. Um, it's usually something I would have brought back up but today I'm after fish. Got a new set of gloves today. I can tell you I absolutely love these new, new gloves I got. They're supposed to be rip proof. Um, since I do a lot of like catching crab and um, getting scallops and stuff like that, I'm always going through gloves, clam, picking up stuff off the bottom from river, river treasure hunting, and picking up crab and stuff like that when I'm usually down there. So something uh, I'll do a review on later. There's a bait, there's a lingcod right there. Just swam off. I'm debating whether he's big enough or not, but then I realized he's so close and some spear fishing. Um, better just leave him alone. But I did follow him for a minute just to kind of get a better look at him. He comes back down to the bottom and just kind of sits there. Gives me a really good look. I mean, he's close. He's really close. But, like I said, since I'm spear fishing, there's no releasing the fish if you uh, spear it. So. I let him be. Like I said earlier, today's really about fish, so I'm being really picky on the ones I want. I turn back around and I'm going after some, you know, lings and uh, black rockfish today. There's one. When I go over this rock here, it's just kind of sitting there. Nice, nice fish. Doing them right there. rock bass in here but I forgot my flashlight so you don't get to see them until I bring them out after I shoot them see that another another crab pot there that I'm not sure why people crab off these jetties here but they do there's lots of crab pots you'll see throughout the video here. There's a couple more. People just lost.
lot. See, there's a lot of fish up there right now, and like I said, I'm being really picky on the ones I want. So they're just not the ones I really looking for. Um, I'm looking for that big, really black uh, rockfish, but I'm just not seeing them. There's schools of uh, black rockfish here. Awesome sight to see. Normally in Newport, you don't see this visibility. Normally, it's you know ten to or ten feet or under. Today, it's uh, as you can see, I can see quite a ways, twenty plus feet uh, visibility today, which is unheard of here on the Oregon coast. Rockfish sitting down there. Okay. I completely missed this. I don't even know what to say on this. I should have should have stoned him. There, um, definitely a keeper. Legal side wing there um, goes back up in that hole. Said I forgot my flashlight, so you don't get to see him when I take the shot. Kind of get stuck in there a little bit, trying to get him out, but get him out. Really nice size lane.
can't even tell you the, how nice it was to dive in some clear water today. I mean, a lot of people are going to look at this and say, that's not clear water, but when you're talking Oregon waters, this is clear water. This is phenomenal, actually, to dive this type of clarity in the uh, Pacific Northwest. I am sure the clarity of the water today is what's making me miss everything. I'm used to the water being about four foot visibility. That's my only experience. I don't even have it. That was just horrible. always there, so it's not like they're not there, it's just the clarity of the water today is allowing me to see this many fish, so pretty impressive. dive here, taking a look at all the fish that are everywhere. Uh, really impressed with the fish I'm seeing today. That's just so cool to see. Like I said, I'm not after just filling the freezer. I'm after certain fish today, a certain size. 
Lane cods have to be over 22 inches here in Oregon. Uh, but the rest of them, you know, the rockfish keep being in size, but they're really just not worth it unless they're big enough to really take. But this is a new style of uh, format for me. Uh, let me know if you guys like this. Um, you know, voiceover. I want to do more of a vlog style here shortly. So once I get a better camera. But this is a really fun dive. Uh, again, I don't endorse uh, solo diving in PDK training. I do it because it's Pacific Northwest. Very few people want to dive this cold water. Um, trying to find somebody on my schedule it even works. So if I want to dive, I got the training to be self reliant as Patty calls it. But let me know what you guys think of the, the video. Uh, subscribe, like, and comment. And let me know what you guys think.